Now, studying our past history, um, you know, there's the rule of the law and the letter of the law. Our founding fathers lived at a time when they, when the, it was a fledgling nation that wasn't guaranteed to succeed at all. And I don't think that looking back, if you look at something like Shays Rebellion, uh, Washington had the fear of the nation not existing anymore. But I'm sure that he, as we can look into his farewell address, that those are the choices that I don't think that they were confident in that they were right, but they were confident that that was the choice they wanted to make to make sure that the nation survived. And one th one issue I have when we look back in time at certain rights that were violated early on is assuming that they weren't just fearful that the country wasn't going to continue, period. And that they did have principles, but that doesn't mean that they always lived by them. So then we look to the way they acted and certain laws that they would that they passed or certain ways that they treated people. And then we looked at what they said. And then we assume that our laws were had the principles of all of their actions. So what I mean by that is I think the founders had an idealistic principle of the right to property. But I think that at times they violated it. But moving forward, I do think that 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 right was meant to be enshrined in the Constitution and that it can almost it can be read directly into it. And as more of an originalist, a natural law thinker, when you think about not having a direct amendment relating to the economy. For the way that we really think of it, it's like we it. The personal liberty and economic liberty should never be separated. That. The thought of having a right to like the, the, the farm we talked about, the wheat, um, the thought of the thought of the government being able to pass laws or, or anything like that. For a large portion of, of every of the founders who built this, certainly the anti-federalists, to think that the federal government had any power to do that was really foreign to them. Well, let me let me start by saluting the sophistication uh, of your thinking. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Uh, anyone under 40 had been through an educational system where you look at history as anything but morality plays where you judge people as yes or no by today's standards. 